All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to XCOM pff, to One Game One Life. My name is Typo. This is XCOM Chimera Squad. Messed up my own intro, but we're gonna keep it. Fuck it, we're doing it live. So we can get a new recruit. I didn't even see that last time. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wow, we have a lot of choices to make today. Okay, Anarchy's looking better. We've connected Gray Phoenix to a recent spate of alien abductions in City 31. Find out why Gray Phoenix wants these aliens. We need to get them home. Right, okay. Field uh, teams can use abilities, like reduce district unrest. Right. Um, four day cooldown. Reduce target unrest by one if the district has a field team plus one per rank. Okay. We need to locate these trafficking records. That's that'll be what we're doing. Also, get rid of one more or two more days on that target. That's good. We don't have the intel for this. Damn it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's get our new recruits. Torque, Blue Blood, and Claymore. Okay. Torque moves enemies, allies, and has poison. Torque is a viper soldier. That's so cool. Quotes? Sure, Whisper. Can you quote this gesture? How about two? <laughs> bind. She can do the bind stuff. Tongue pull and bind. That's so sick. And she comes with 20 dodge? Blue blood. Precision shooting multiple shots. He has dead eye. 75 aim. Wow. Agent takes a shot with a minus 15% aim penalty for a 50% damage boost. Does not end the turn if used as first action. He can shoot twice with a dead eye shot? That's crazy. Desperado, standard pistol fire and deadeye cost an action. Do not automatically end the turn if the agent has actions remaining. Fires his last lancer pistol at a target, ignoring all cover bonuses. Okay. Also has 10 extra crit. Damn. Okay, so this is like the short range sniper, basically. Since we don't need snipe, since the maps are so much smaller, I've noticed. Explosives, AoE, breaching. There's never a red wire. I'm lucky if there are even wires. Nine health. That's pretty tanky. Shrapnel bomb. He's our bomber. Agent throws an explosive that detonates after several turns. The explosive does not deal damage through cover and can be targeted to detonate it early. Does not end the turn if used as first action. Not through cover. Okay. Claymore detonates a powerful charge, rupturing all enemies near the breach point. Usable on wall breach points. One use permission. <coughs> hmm. I kind of like Blue Blood a lot. This could be useful. She looks really cool. I like the idea of blue blood. Being able to get multiple shots off. Pachow, pachow. Could also move enemies and allies though. Grab a unit and pull them into melee range. Can be used on enemies and allies. Some oversized targets cannot be pulled. That's important, but she could also tongue pull allies to a safer place, possibly. Hmm. Man, I really like the idea of blue blood. And if we're always going to have Sherub, up, we can upgrade... Pistols for Sherub and Blue Blood. And we can upgrade submachine guns for terminal fists for okay. Ugh. Do it the smart way, the hard way gets you killed. I really like the sass on Torque. I really like damage. Damage is really fun. Let's do damage. Let's go with Blue Blood. Blue Blood, great to see you. <laughs> Back at you, Whisper. Settling in? Not exactly. Until we have a proper field office, we get to sleep in a rail car repair yard. Mmm, see? Every job comes with a few perks. Eh, let me know when we have any. <laughs> I like his voice actor. I didn't check the biography of the three people, that's my bad. United States of America, only child of a teacher and a third generation police officer. Fled initial attacks with his father, eventually sent to a relocation camp, nine years old. Relocated to City 31 with his family, apprenticed with his father's private detective agency, solving issues for an underserved portion of the city. Gained a positive reputation and learned the basics of investigative work. Smuggled hundreds of people out of City 31 whom Advent had labeled as dissidents, only some of whom were actual resistance members, 29 years old. What a beast. That's my age. Joined 31 to have done that by then. Whew. Joined 31PD in its inception and served with distinction. Left 31PD for the Reclamation Agency with blessing of former 31PD Commissioner Markham, deceased. His investigative background is an asset to Commander Squad. So he's like the pinnacle of a cop, basically. 
here to do work with his pistol. I love it. Yeah, let's start taking him with us instead of Verge, probably. But let's upgrade Verge. See what he gets. So, Crowdsource. Verge gains plus 5 aim and plus 10 critical chance for each enemy in the neural network. Or Collar. Enemies in the neural network that would be killed are rendered unconscious instead. That is nice, but I don't think necessary. This is also not great. Yeah, I'm just not super impressed by Verge's stuff. I think we're going to replace him here. <clears throat> Terminal. Sustain. If Terminal takes enough damage to begin bleeding out, they are instead reduced to 1 HP and immediately enter stasis for 1 turn. 1 use permission. Whoa! At Field Agent, the second ability is a get out of jail free card for 1 turn? Or pin down. Shoots non-damaging suppressing fire at the target to push their turn down the timeline. 2 turn cooldown. That's also very good. Just not have to deal with the problem because you've knocked them down the timeline. But no, yeah, sustain. Definitely. Wow. That's fantastic. We love that. Zephyr! Okay. Lockdown. Zephyr attacks any enemy that enters or attacks from melee range. Cool. Or pressure point. Melee attacks that would deal lethal damage will instead render enemies unconscious. Melee attacks do plus one damage. Say no more! She literally just got a plus one damage upgrade across the board, and now we don't need to worry about subduing at all. Let's go. That's so good. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Oh, I'm loving how this is coming together. Just saying. Alright, um... Does Blue Blood need any training? Base and conditioning... HP increase... But this, is, this is how good training is? Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and throw him in there. If everybody can get two more HP just for being in here for two turns, I'm gonna do that. We'll run Verge a little more for the meantime. <clears throat> and next time we'll start putting Verge on Spec Ops so we can put Godmother and keep people leveling up across the board other than our main four. Let's get rid of Unrest and Renova Heights here. Yeah. Alright, locate trafficking records. Minus one unrest, so it'll be down to zero. Two days towards operation reveal, 40 credits. Difficult. Hostile forces one encounter. Sabotage infrastructure. Okay. Damage crucial tech or demolish evidence of their activities. Focus on any hostile attempting to destroy what you're there to protect. Hold fast and outlast their assault. Okay. Outlast their assault. So we're outlasting this time. Locate trafficking records in downtown and outlast the assault. Okay. Let's do exactly that. Gray Phoenix set up in this warehouse. Find any data that indicates why. Okay. Security door. Secure entrance. There are fewer aggressive enemies present at this entrance. We can do the team up right away, so if we go Sherub, Verge, Zephyr, we can get Zephyr in right off the bat. Nice, with the team up. Rear guard, last unit through essentials, good plus one armor for the encounter. That's nice and all, but I'd rather just not take any damage, thanks. Ah, you know what, actually? What if I put Sherub there for the armor and gave him Phalanx so he couldn't take any damage? That's a play. And if we made that first, then we could also team him up to give him a turn sooner. Yes. I like this. Let's do this. Go. Open sesame. Found another entry. Add her right there. Take her out. Nice shot. Fearless advance on the Paladin or the Legionnaire. Let's go for the Legionnaire. Uh, 
Python, Legionnaire. Yeah, that'll finish off the Legionnaire. And then Phalanx. Because he's the one getting shot at. Boom! Perfect. Bang! Unconscious. Yeah! And now she does plus one damage too. So she does five to six instead of four to five on her punches. And her pursuit is going to do four to five now instead of three to four. Protect that data. We love it. All right, clear the warehouse, locate the records, get that data, all that good stuff. All right, team up with Sheriff, get him up here. Good. All right, next in turn order is this Legionnaire right here. That's not enough for a flank. Or is it? It's flanking somebody. It is flanking him. Oh, because we can look around this side. Perfect. Ah, we'll take three, I guess. Kinetic shield on yourself. Because you're about to go deep, my guy. Armored up. And then a charged bash right here in his face. Subdued. Book him. Book him. Then we got a paladin right here. We could do six. Let's see if we get lucky. Yes, baby! Nice. <laughs> oh, Zephyr. I love Zephyr. She's so fun to use. All right, kinetic shield, but he's still poison. I don't agree with that, but okay. And there's a python up top that we could stupor, and that's probably our best bet. All right, one turn or two turns? Let's hope for two. Ah, just the one. Okay, python's still getting a turn, but I don't think she'll be able to move. Wow, poisoned and grab. That's tough, Sheriff. Okay. Oh, that's right. Just He's got armor. Ooh. He'll be fine. Nice thinking. Here we go with the safeguard. Get rid of the poison and heal him. We like that. And then we take the flank right here. Good chance of kill. Better and we you get than it. me. Better than you than Should me. Should have been my kill. Still bound, right? Crippling blow. Let's go for it. This could be all we need. Another six right here. Oh my goodness. Zephyr is an absolute unit. I love her so much. I'm so glad we took Zephyr. For so many reasons. Does she not have parry yet? I'm not seeing an indicator of what she has. If she doesn't have parry, we need to fix that, but... Okay, Verge. Go ahead and get yourself can make it there. located in the middle here. Yeah, yeah, that's I better covered. They reposition. Terminal, like can we get you up top? Back. Perfect. This stuck this gets Cherub stuck, doesn't he? He can go down that way. No, you can always just jump down. Nice, perfect. Okay, I'm moving. Eyes open. Here we go. Don't get twitchy. Whew, three coming in from that side. Ooh! My the pistol shot, though. Okay. That went really well. Okay, so she does still have parry. Okay. Guarantee on him we might get this guy, though. We'll see. Oh, we're crushing these sixes right now. Come on. <laughs> the world is not ready for Zephyr and her prime. She is doing work out here. Subdue the man. Hostile is under arrest. 
Well, I guess we could safeguard Cherub for one. Why not? Why not? I'll shoot anything that moves. No. Let's do it on Burge. He's the guy who's squishy. From all angles. Yeah, they're not just going to stay there. I have a feeling they'll probably go this way this time, so let's let's watch this area. Keeping a lookout. You shoot, I'll scoot. All three through here, okay. Another good one? Oh my god. Sheriff. He's definitely getting his promotion now. He showed up. Legionnaire right here. Demolishing. Oh my Target goodness. Good. <laughs> yeah. I know, damn! That's damn is right. Dude, Zephyr is a unit. And she still has her parry, so we don't need to parry right now. God damn is right. <laughs> oh my, I love her so much. He's got kinetic shield, we can do this. for four, okay. This thing is nearly empty. Then we subdue him. Yeah, that's way more than five. We don't need any more. Alright, they're probably entering through here since they haven't entered through here yet. <clears throat> oh, juked! They came through here again. Okay. Got to deal with all three this time. Fair enough. Get the pallet in here. Yeah, just stick her in the open. Dude, she is doing six consistently. What an absolute unit. Put her right back there. All right, we got an adder right here about to have a turn. We can't allow that. Okay, that's a good call. Moving quickly. Move or die. Almost guaranteed kill. We get it. One less hostile. Yeah. Ammo's nearly out. Light him up. Oh wow, that was. That was that was less than good. That's right. Come on, surrender. How did he miss that? Shame on him. Shame on him. What? I even want to use my charge bash. I'd rather wait. This is the last guy, isn't it? Done. Target out of play. Nice. Wow. Ten captured enemies. Hell yes. We have a better picture of the alien's gray, fat fe alien's gray phoenix targets for trafficking. Surprisingly, it's specialists like Illyrium technicians or deep core miners. Stranger still, the aliens filled out their own records. Some listed their own families as transit candidates. Building rank three field teams of each type unlocks assembly projects to gain additional slots for agent training, etc., etc. Twenty intel gained. Hell yeah! I have a feeling we're gonna get that twenty intel like every time. Fringe has risen to four. Oof. Excellent work. I have more background on the insurgents behind the mayor's attack. Just after the war, City Thirty One reached out to nearby resistance networks to help keep the peace. The insurgents belonged to a cell in the Shrike network. That network provided security before 31PD existed. They left when the Global Council cleared aliens and hybrids for return to society. Hmm, couldn't stomach protecting the people they fought in the war? Seems that way. Since 2037, they've kept to the outskirts and swapped war stories at their watering holes. Sounds like a dead end. Maybe. Something drove them to carry out this attack. Keep your eyes open. 
Okay. All right. Okay, and there's the share of promotion we the were talking about. Shaken by the untimely loss of our mayor, but with everything this city has been through, I have to believe we'll come out of this stronger than ever. Let's not sugarcoat this, Roger. How can we feel safe when our duly elected officials are kidnapped and assassinated? You're absolutely right. This is a tragedy. We can't forget or forgive. But how do we move on? Tension can be felt on every street and in every home. Together, Glorgo, that's how we move on. Throughout our city's history, we've faced many challenges and threats, but only together can we find peace. Let's hope you're right. All right, and that is enough intel to get another field team, so that'll be good next time, too. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining me on this journey in XCOM Chimera Squad. Things are continuing to build. I'm lo loving how good our team is right now. That plus one melee damage for Zephyr made all the difference. She is popping off. And we know these two are already doing great. We're going to replace Verge with Blue Blood probably soon. And yeah. Thank you again so much. And I will see all of you next time.